what's up you guys it's Kevin here for another video and today we are going to be doing that uh, a um, Captain Marvel trailer breakdown now I did talk about I wanted to do some Captain Marvel news news uh, review uh, a little while back in some of my other videos but if you watch my most recent video I did talk about why I haven't uploaded that and quite similar to the flash breakdown video I initially was supposed to release that a lot earlier but um, the files got corrupted, both of them, with OBS, and so I did um, see that I needed to update OBS, but I didn't know if that was 100% the, the reason. I tried um, installing and reinstalling, it was still corrupted, but um, after I uploaded that um, new version of the um, uh, Flash Breakdown video, because I couldn't use either the, the original file or the Captain Marvel file, so those were pretty much lost so yeah I did test it out a few times um, during the week because that's all I could really do I didn't have enough time to make any new videos uh, during the school days and it works pretty good and also as a backup I am currently using my um, uh, recording softwares um, uh, not my recording software my editing software is uh, recording screen because um, this kind of comes with not only editing it comes with like screen captures and all that good stuff because you, you can see right here it's um, new right here because um, it's part of my uh, editing software if, um, if I can show you I'm not really sure if I can yet I'll show you after I'm done but anyway this is gonna be a Anyway, without getting sidetracked, that's why I could not upload that Captain Marvel news and set photos um, video. Unfortunately, I really apologize for that. This is kind of the next best thing. And yeah, uh, I think I got everything fixed with the whole um, corrupted files thing. I also update my windows just in case that was a factor to that. And also, I did notice um, that m my computer was getting filled up, so that could also be a factor. So that's why I've been like cleaning out some older files that I wasn't using, like after recording No Pro. I keep some of my reaction recordings just in case they, the originals get copyrighted, and I put them back on my Vimo account. So, um, yeah. That's the uh, explanation why I haven't uploaded my original Captain Marvel video. But anyway, this is going to be the, I guess, new uh, Captain Marvel video. It's going to be a breakdown. And, I don't know, I just, after I released that Flash Breakdown video, I wanted to do another one. So that's why I made that Arrow Breakdown. And I'm going to be doing more breakdowns for this, the Arrowverse shows and even some new trailers when they come out. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. And yeah, just mark your calendars for the weeks when um, in October because that's a big month for the Arrowverse. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing loads of reactions to those shows, but unfortunately, I can't upload them the day those episodes air. Unfortunately, so I'm probably gonna have to um, uh, do some reactions um, over the weekends for you guys because that's my uploading schedule Friday Saturday and Sunday those are my um, uploading days so yeah well I've been talking enough so anyway let's get right into the breakdown before we start I kind of want to turn the volume down just a tiny bit so that way you guys can still hear me all right we do see this explosion I don't know if it kind of broke through a barrier or something because it kind of looks like it's breaking glass almost. I don't know if this is like an original ship and this is an escape pod or something. Because it kind of looked like it broke through like a dimensional barrier almost to me. I don't know why. But it could just be a ship. And this is most likely where Captain Marvel's uh, space pod is. Most likely. Yeah, you do get another shot of that right here. Did, actually, now I think about it, this does look like um, an explosive spaceship. I don't know why it looked like a dimensional barrier shattering for some reason. I don't know. Alright, we actually do see Captain Marvel falling, and we do see a little bit of red here, because if you actually look back here in the close-up shot, you can kind of see a red pot, so maybe that pot also gets... gets um, it also blows up. And you see Captain Marvel just falling towards Earth. And let's see if we can actually spot some more stuff here. Um, just in case there's any Easter eggs. 
Um, no, they're just like ordinary stars. I can't really see the other stars here because they're too blurry. Now we do actually see a blockbuster. Yeah, remember when those were still around? I actually used to go to those um, back when I was a little kid. Um, I didn't go to it a whole lot because I wasn't around when it was really popular. Um, like most 90s kids, they probably um, visited Blockbuster a lot. But anyway, enough sidetracking. Okay, we see Captain Marvel recovering. Alright, we uh, hear uh, Samuel Jackson's uh, Nick Fury talking. And yeah, so it looks like in this movie um, that um, Captain Marvel will have two suits. And it does look like she's not necessarily giving a full on origin story. Because it looks like that she already has her powers. And it looks like she's been Captain Marvel for a while. Or at least had her powers for a while. Because you can see, like, these colors represent the, the Kree, most likely. Alright, it looks like there's Captain Marvel in her suit out in the open in the subway. This is most likely New York back in the 90s. I still think that that suit does look pretty cool. I mean, the blue and red and gold look a lot better, but still. Okay, I really like that, how they um, changed the um, this to 10 years. They did that before with Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp and Infinity War, but this, I really like how they blended that with the silver and gold. I think that really blends well together in the blue background for Captain Marvel, obviously. Alright, it looks like uh, right here, I can't tell exactly, but it looks like this is Captain Marvel right here, and that's most likely Nick Fury. And it looks like they're going to like an old shield base. Alright, yeah, we actually do see um, Carol in um, a uh, shield hat right there. So it looks like she was semi recruited to shield, or at least shown what shield really is. Alright, now I can't tell from the back here, but this look, this kind of does look like Coulson a little bit, but I could be wrong. It could just be some random agent. And this is, I think it's um, Sam L. Jackson as Nick Fury. I can't tell. Sorry. Um, it looks like they're like dissecting um, an alien. Can't tell who it is exactly. I don't think it's a Kree, but it could be like whoever attacked Captain Marvel that sent her to Earth. <clears throat> Sorry. And also, it does look like... I can't tell if this is either just a regular shotgun, or just a regular earth weapon, or this is a weapon that was carried by whoever this alien is. Alright, we actually do see this. This kind of looks like a Quinjet. Yeah, I actually think it's a Quinjet. So maybe with Captain Marvel there in the 90s, she helps develop some tech for them, most likely. And we do see this uh, aircraft... Which is most likely, it's either the Kree or the Skrulls, one of them. Because the Kree versus Skrull war, I guess it's like the main plot in the movie. It's on, it's on cloaking right there. Do you see a few car, do you see a car chase? Alright, this is, I really like this. It, it kind of reminds me of Vibe from The Flash. I don't know why, it just does. I guess it's just the way the suit looks with the, and the, I think she's actually wearing gauntlets. Yeah, it looks like she's wearing gauntlets right here. And I don't know, just the way those um, uh, energy uh, blasts, they just look like vibe to me. I don't know why, it, they just do. Alright, now here we do see Nick Fury walking, and it says he was ready to hang it up. So it could be that he was actually ready to retire from S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. So I feel like um, during this movie, he either comes out of retirement or he's about to retire then finds Captain Marvel and then he finds out he and S.H.I.E.L.D. finds out all about aliens and stuff and maybe this is what jump starts later in the MCU with Iron Man and all that and Nick Fury becomes a full director of S.H.I.E.L.D. if he currently isn't right now oh, you do see Carol with talking to Nick Fury Yeah, we see them talking, it looks like this is, 
I believe this is a Kree ship right here. Now this planet, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't look like Earth, not for a long shot. Right here, this planet. I could be wrong, but maybe it's just the different shot, but this looks like a different planet. I don't know too much about Captain Marvel. I mean, I did grow up watching a few cartoons with her in it, but I don't know a whole lot about her origins and stuff and about the Kree and stuff. I do know some stuff about the Korean Scrolls, but mostly from like um, Avengers and Spidey Heroes, that cartoon show, and some other shows too. 2019. So, this is most likely where Carol has been spending most of her time with. It looks like she. By the looks of some of the set photos that I will put in the link in the description below after I'm done recording this video, it does look like. Um, she joined like some sort of like police, Kree police force. It kind of looks like a space, almost like apartment, kind of. Maybe like her living quarters if she, when she's living on this world. I actually don't know what the world of the Kree is called. If someone knows that, can you put that in the, in the comments below? I'd really appreciate that. Alright, so she keeps having these memories, so... It does look like in the later shot in the trailer, we'll talk about that a little later, because we do see her right here in the Air Force base, because I do know some things about her origins, how she was, I'm pretty sure Carol was like a flight pilot, or an Air Force pilot, at least uh, in the comics, I think, and in this movie. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. Yeah, she's like an Air Force pilot or something, something like that. And we see her with whoever this is, it could be. It could be a minor role, it could even be a key factor to her remembering about her life, because it looks, it seems to me like her memories were erased when she joined the Kree, or maybe she was abducted by the Kree, kind of like how Yondu abducted Star-Lord, but we don't know yet until the movie comes out next year in March. Some more shots of the Air Force, and this looks like, um, an obstacle course, maybe like train for the Air Force or the Army or something. We do see some more shots here of like her and her childhood. Okay, now this is interesting right here. Because if you can tell right here, it kind of looks like she already has powers even when she was on Earth. So it's kind of interesting. Maybe she's kind of like Star-Lord where she's half alien. That could be a key factor to it. Maybe, maybe that she's half alien and that's what, tr maybe, my theory now is that she is half human like Star-Lord. And, um, that, that's what, um, catches the attention of the Kree and they abduct her to join their forces and in this next shot here, it looks like they're erasing her memories or something or doing something with her brain. Now, I don't know if this is like during the movie or before all these events later. When she comes to Earth, can't really tell. Now we do see some shots here with Carol and some of her teammates in the, her ship. So it looks like she's joined some kind of Kree police force, like I said. Now this right here, I'm pretty sure this is Marvel, the original Captain Marvel, but I could be wrong. And this is like a real weird look because it kind of makes me feel like that this Marvel right here is actually a scroll but I could be wrong maybe that's how he looks with these eyes and them um, in the actual movie all right we do see more flashes of Carol on her earth life all right this is interesting it looks like she is in the Air Force maybe no it it looks like she was piloting but she somehow got launched into space or something and that's how she is abducted or something that could be how she's abducted by the Kree or she just finds the Kree or something who knows no alright we see our shot our first shot at the at the scrolls oh wait not her this looks like another shot of Carol on earth probably remembering something alright if I could time this right Okay, I'm just gonna slow it down. That's gonna be easier on me. Okay, I'm just gonna slow it down even more. Oh, 
Okay, so we do get our first look at the scrolls here. Now, it does seem like they have arrived on Earth. So, I have no idea what their objective is on why they're on Earth sp specifically. Maybe they need, they want to conquer it because maybe their planet is like dying or something. I think I remember that in like a comic somewhere or in one of the TV shows I watched when I was a kid. So yeah, I actually really like the designs for the scrolls. They just look really, really cool. I feel like um, maybe they could look a little bit more, I don't know, bulky or something? Not like Super Scroll or Hulk bulky, but just a little bit more bulky, I don't know why. But overall, I do like the designs of the scrolls here. Alright, I'm gonna turn the speed back up because I don't really need it anymore. We do see this weird shot of her punching an old lady on the subway. So I have no idea what this deal is, if this is Naomi Carol and this is like a scroll or she... Maybe she doesn't remember anything from Earth yet and that's why. I have no idea like what this whole scene is. Maybe she was... A, another thing is that maybe she was sent back to Earth to investigate something. But I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell like what the whole plot is because we don't really know too much about the movie quite yet until the actual movie comes out or if more information is released all right we do see okay before i get back to that scene we do see um oh crap actually i'm gonna go back to that scene everything's just going so fast damn it all right we do see some kind of space battle right here now this could be another factor of possibly the kree and the scrolls fighting Right here on whatever planet this is, because I don't think this is Earth. I don't think this is Earth. And we do get a shot right here of Roman, Roman the Accuser, like when he's younger. And this does look like Earth right here. And this is interesting, because it's kind of hard to say, like, what exactly is doing there. Now, maybe Earth, um, because I think in the comics, Captain Marvel, not Marvel, but Captain Marvel before he becomes Captain Marvel, was sent there to examine Earth to see if they, they are a major threat or not. So maybe that's why uh, Roman the Accuser is there. Maybe that's why some of the other uh, members of Carol's like police force team members are there too. Maybe that's even why Carol came back there. She was sent there to examine Earth. Maybe that could be another reason why she's there. And maybe that's why she can't remember anything. And we see a shot of Coulson here when he's... He doesn't even look that much younger, really. I don't know if this is the CG or this is without CG. Because, uh, personally, Coulson doesn't really look that much older, in my personal opinion. When I watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I rewatch some of the Iron Man movies, he looks basically the same age as he did when, he, when we first saw him back in Iron Man 1. Okay, we see another shot of... Um, Nick Fury now it does look like Nick Fury is on a Kree ship or some kind of ship right here All right now this is the pager So it looks like this is how he she gives one to Carol to communicate with Okay, now I do like this right here We do get to see some of the helmets from Carol's team and I like how even though it's a different color scheme in her suit. They still kept that design from the helmet. I feel like, I'm pretty sure this is like, this helmet design is from the more modern day Captain Marvel, like the most recent Captain Marvel. The most recent comic books, I should say, like roughly around 2016, 2017. I don't personally know too much about Captain Marvel because I honestly don't read that much Marvel comics. I mostly read DC comics. Even though. I wouldn't say I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan, but lately, when I got into comics, I started out with DC and Marvel, but I, lately I've been reading mostly DC. Okay, this is kind of weird. It kind of looks like... It does look like they're, like, underwater or something. I don't know if this is on Earth or if this is in, like, one of those uh, planets that's just completely covered in water. Because you can kind of tell that she, she has, like, this, like... I don't know, face mask on here, even though she already has that helmet to kind of help her breathe underwater. Alright, we do see her, it looks like she's getting attacked by like a scroll or something, or even by Roman, the accuser, or one of her teammates, and she's absorbing that energy, because I'm pretty sure that's one of her abilities, like she can absorb energy and make herself basically even stronger. 
Or you do see another shot of her in that helmet. We do see another shot of her, um, it looks like the adult version of Carol um, before she joins the Air Force on that obstacle course. More shots of Carol just, um, um, higher before Earth. Now, this shot's interesting. Maybe this is where she gets kidnapped. Honestly, I have no idea what the hell is going on in this movie, to be completely honest with you. Because I'm just, this is all speculation right here. So... This could be where she gets kidnapped because you can see fire here, so maybe she crashed or something. Because this is either her jet or that's a, a, a Kree spaceship. Okay, now this we I think this is the first shot we actually see her in this trailer with the blue and red um, color scheme of the suit, and it's hard to tell. It, I can't tell if this is like just like a shield agent in armor or this is like another Kree soldier or something. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, now I really like this shot here. It looks like she's just absorbing so much energy there. I can't. It's hard to tell who she's talking to. It could be Coulson. She could be talking to a little kid right here because of the hair. I'm not really too sure. It could, she could just be talking to like a regular civilian or like an old child friend that she's reuniting with after she gains more of her memories. But it's kind of hard to tell like what exactly is happening right here. Maybe she's getting attacked by some big weapon, she's just absorbing all that energy or something. It's just really hard to tell about what exactly is happening. Okay, March 2019, I guess, uh, mark your calendars for that date. But anyway, yeah, that's, um, was Cat Marvel trailer. What did you guys think? I personally liked it, even though, while breaking this down, I've... Before I broke this, before I made this video, I actually watched this trailer a few times prior, and yet I still am a little confused on what exactly is happening. Because for me, Captain Marvel, I did watch um, shows with her in it, but I don't know too much about her. Because it's been such a long time since I watched like some of those old cartoons like Avengers or Tiny's Heroes, or like um, the OG Fantastic Four like, X-Men um, cartoons. Because I think she appeared on that too. But, uh... But yeah, overall, I f think this was a really good trailer. It's, g it's good enough, I think. I feel like they should have showed more for me. For me, anyway. Um, I feel like they should have showed a little bit more in this trailer. Like, maybe a little bit more action. Maybe some more shots of some of those characters, like the Kree soldiers. And even some more shots of the scrolls. I feel like that would have been cool. But then again, it's just the first trailer. Um, I'm still excited for this movie. Um... People said that this trailer was over, was underwhelming. I personally thought that it was a pers really good trailer, and it's game. It's I wouldn't say it's over the top amazing. Uh, the trailer for the first trailer anyway, but I think it's r still good. It's good enough to hype up the audience, and this is most definitely not going to be the only trailer. There's probably going to be like at least two more trailers to further up the hype for this movie. And get people ready for this movie and Avengers 4 and some other characters too. But yeah, um, this was a, a solid trailer. I give it a, I give it an 8.5 out of 10 for me. It would be a 10 out of 10 if they just showed a little bit more, maybe a little bit more action for my tastes and just show more interactions. But overall, I feel like it was a really solid trailer. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for this breakdown video. Um. Yeah, just look for more in the future. I'm gonna be making um, some more like news breakdowns because they announce a lot of other stuff. I'm gonna be talking about like um, some more. Um, I'm gonna focus on some Avatar, the Last Airbender stuff because I'm a really big fan of that show, and they just announced a new sh a, um, a new show for that on Netflix. So I'm gonna be talking about that. It's going live action. Um, I, f I have faith in it, but anyway, I'm gonna talk about more about that in m tomorrow for that video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you feel free to like, share, subscribe, turn on, turn on notifications so you don't miss any future content, and comment down below what you think of this breakdown and the other breakdowns I've done and want me to do more breakdowns. And also, if there's any other type of videos you want me to do, just put us in the comment section below. And... Also, list uh, how I can improve on um, my videos, like improve thumbnails, audio, stuff like that, to help um, me gain more experience and just um, f furthermore improve 
the content on this channel and just the channel in general. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I'll see you next time right around the channel.